I am in the daytime kitchen with mixologist Ashley Vincy. Ashley, great to see you again. Nice to be here. Yes, I know. The January just went by so fast. So happy New Year. So, uh, <laughs> same to you. Same to you. I know. We're making some beer based cocktails for mm -hmm. the Super Bowl. Well, you want to have big batch cocktails. So we're going to do some beer based big batch cocktails. Okay, and I noticed that the beer is all local, including. Star yes. Hill, which Star is coming Hill, soon. Yay. Yes, all right. So the first one we're going to make is the raspberry punch. Yes, raspberry punch. I love it. Okay, so what so goes this into this? So this one's super easy. We're using, right here I'm using the Devil's Backbone, but you can use any, like, light lager. This one's one of their uh, seasonal offerings, the peach lager. So you're going to use three of those. Okay. Pour that all right in. Okay. And what did you have in here already? I had uh, just some water, because okay. we're going to put some concentrated ingredients in it, and so you oh. have to have a little water. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, you can get a little foam, foam there. All oh, right. yeah. It's going to foam more. I'm going to put a little bit of vodka so you have a, a spirit in it, too, as well as um, the beer. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to cause it to foam. This is just a regular, it's a raspberry lemonade. Woo! Mm -hmm. Concentrate. Uh huh. And then give it a little stir. Mm hmm. So just keep in mind when you're making keep, this. Keep it in mind. And apparently my vessel was not quite as big as I thought it was. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got to put a little bit more in it. <laughs> so here's our limeade. And you're going to put a full concentrate of limeade in there. And I don't think Once I'm going to. Once that foam to. goes down, you might be able yeah, to get it all in. Yeah, you'd be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once we get that all mixed in. And that's it. That's it? That's it. So now you have a big batch beer cocktail for a crowd. So all right. So let's pour this in and let's try this. And, our and you've got lemon and raspberry I in I have already put some lemon and raspberry. Pairs the flavors back to what's inside. And I love the glasses, the little football I gotta glasses. have my football glasses. I love it. And it's as simple as that. There you go. All right, we'll try this. And then Ashley has two more cocktail recipes for that's us right. coming up. Let me try this. Mm. Oh, that's really refreshing. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> more from Ashley and more daytime. Don't go away. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge. Well, Brittany, that's right. I'm here with mixologist Ashley Vincy. So the first one, I had a taste of that. That was very refreshing. Good. I love it. So the next one we're making is citrus and beer sangria, which also sounds really refreshing. Yeah. So, so what goes into this one? It's going to be more like a sangria, and there's going to be a lot more fruit in it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with our beer base. I'm mm -hmm. going to learn from last time so that we don't overflow, or at least try not you to did. overflow. We were so impressed with it. It was close. It was close call. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the Star Hill Love, which is a wheat beer. Okay. Uh, that's going to be our base for this cocktail. I'm trying to pour it a little slower so we don't have quite as much foam. Yeah. Uh, but like a traditional sangria, this is going to have a lot of fruit in it. Okay. And it's going to have a fruit juice. Is that what kind of makes the sangria different? Is all, 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 I mean, I, I'm a fan of sangria. Sangria is typically wine-based. Okay. Um, and this one, of course, is beer-based. And my spirit here is vodka. It's about a cup and a half okay. of vodka. Give it a little extra kick. And then I'm going to put about a cup and a half of pineapple juice. Now, oh, that's pineapple juice. I thought yeah. it was orange juice. Okay. And what's, what's juice. great about all these cocktails is that they can be made ahead. So if you're having a big party and you're busy making your guacamole for the Super Bowl, I'm just putting some fruit in here. I got grapefruit. Grapefruit. Got some oranges. That citrus is going to make it go over. No, it's not. It's not. You're doing great. Whew. You're such a professional. <sighs> okay. So then we mix it around. That's it. Is that it? That's it. Oh, yeah. that's so easy. So now you can go back and look, make sure your chili's not burning, your chicken wings are good. Yeah. Get your whole football spread. It takes a set. I mean, you could take start it right no before somebody time. wants it. So yeah. this one doesn't, you like, do you need to let it sit for a while and get all the flavors, you, or you just mix it in and it's You good? can. I, I would probably just make it, make it and go, because yeah. it's going to lose some of the carbonation in the beer if you let it sit for too long. So we have our, our prepared glass. I always like to put a little extra fruit in there. It looks Just prettier. to make it pretty. People will be more impressed with you if you do that. Beautiful. And did you come up with this? Now, this one was one that I had found. Okay. And, of course, I always love to use local beers because, of course, they use Blue Moon. Blue Moon is sort of the traditional yeah. go-to wheat beer. Yeah. But since we have Star Hill coming to the Roanoke Valley, I thought I would represent. All right. Oh, I like it. You like that one? Whoa, yeah, really fruity. Very good. You can definitely taste the pineapple juice in it. Thanks. All right, we got one more, one more. cocktail in here with Ashley Vincy. Don't go away. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge.
in such a good mood. I know. Maybe because we're making some cocktails with Ashley Vincy once again. Mm -hmm. I know. I didn't try the second one. The first one was delish. Second one? Really good. Really, really good. Yes. And then we've got another one. This one's yes. a cucumber basil IPA. Once yes. again, it sounds really fresh. So if you have somebody who's sort of a beer snob, this is going to be the cocktail <laughs> that they're going to want. I know a couple of those. I was going to ask if you knew some. Mm -hmm, I do. I am not one. You're not? I'm not a beer no. snob. Okay. I don't drink a lot of beer. Yeah, I don't either, but when it's mixed like this, you would drink I it. I would totally drink it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I would too. See, so we have a fan fa or, or a, a group favorite, and it yeah. seems to be the first, the, the beery one, I the raspberry so. one. Raspberry. So okay. now this one, like I said, is going to be for somebody who's more of a connoisseur of flavors. So this is our Ballast Point uh, Sculpin IPA, and it's a little bit more of a fruit forward IPA. Um, mm -hmm. So it goes really well with these other. Is it, is it a specific, when you say a fruit fruit forward, what does that mean? It's just a fruitier, um, okay. like, typically, let's say citrus is a better mm -hmm. word for it, because it's okay. grapefruit, goes really well with it, lemon, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of citrus fruit is going to go really well with this particular IPA. Okay. So I'm going to be using a little bit less beer, and there is no spirit in this one, so no vodka. Okay. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more simple. This is a uh, sparkling lemonade that I'm oh. going to be putting in here. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't sparkling either. Sparkling lemonade. Girls would like or you can lemonade. use lemonade with a little club soda, which is what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. And all we Easy. have now is we're going to just put a full cucumber in here. Just okay. Sliced up. You just sliced it up right before. Just so once again, this one only takes a second, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like we do that in 10 seconds. Yeah. Right. And this is just fresh basil. And cucumber basil, are, it's my favorite combination. I love to put it in cocktails. Just going to tear this up, mm -hmm. get some of the um, essential oils off of the basil when you tear it like this. Mm -hmm. I would never have thought to put this nope. in this beer. Cucumber and basil never. in a beer. Nope. Now, this one, the prior cocktail we said, you don't really want to let it sit, but this one's going to get stronger in the flavor with mm -hmm. the basil and the cucumber the longer you let it sit. Man, it smells beer. so it good. Really yeah, does it smells basil. so good. I mm -hmm. love basil. Me too. All right. And no. that's really it. That's it. Do that's you put it. ice in this one before you? You would put ice in this one uh, because I was cutting up the cucumber prior. Oh. There's no ice Imagine in the glass. Imagine ice in that Let's glass. Let's pretend <laughs> that there's ice in this glass.